morning students dear students today we will learn division in a playway method now students these are five children and here we have yes 20 balloons and i have to divide these 20 balloons among these five children so firstly i will give yes one balloon to each child see i am giving one balloon to each child so students see we had 20 balloons and first time we gave yes five balloons to these five children and now we are left with 15 balloons now my dear students from these 15 balloons we will give one one balloon to each child c i am giving one one balloon to each child once again yes now students we had 15 balloons and second time we gave one one balloon to each child means five balloons and now we are left with yes 10 balloons now from these 10 balloons my dear students i will give one one balloon to each child once again see i am giving one one balloon to each child students we had 10 balloons and we gave one one balloon to each child means third time we gave five balloons to five children so we are left with now yes five balloons now my dear students i will divide these five balloons among these five children one by one see i have divided now students we had five balloons and fourth time we gave one one balloon to each child means five balloons now students can you see any balloon here no we have no balloon no balloon means yes zero so dear students we had 20 balloons and when four times we divided equally these five balloons to these five children each child got four balloons and here is the answer for our question that is 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4 now the question for pass according to the given picture if we divide balloons equally between the two children how many balloons each child will get option a 4 option b 2 option c 1 option d 0 students you can clearly see in the given picture we have four balloons and when we will divide these balloons equally between the two children each child will get yes two balloons so let us see the options option a is four that is not correct option b is two that is correct option c is one that is not correct and option d is zero that is not correct so the right answer for our question is yes option b that is 2 in the homework dear students solve the sums given at page number 104 of your maths book thank you